Yeah, here we have an Enco 13 by 40 inch gap bed engine lathe. It appears to be unused, however, it does have significant shipping damage. We'll show you that in a minute here. I just want to show you that the machine does run. Okay, um, it also, the switch works, but goes forward and reverse. Okay, we just want to say also that the uh, the speed controls don't quite work all that well. Um, it's a little, I think there was a little hit right here somewhere and um, your threading dials, there's a little problem right there. Um, I can't get this, this upper screw to turn right here. Uh, the bottom one here turns. However, the shaft won't turn because there's uh, significant damage to the apron right here. Um, this whole, this got hit right here. All right, so this doesn't move at all. And it cracked the housing. As you can see, it looks like the, ge oh, the gears are intact, but it's kind of jammed up a little bit. As you can see there's a little gap right there it's not supposed to be there some cracked metal right there okay so we can't get any of these controls to, to operate at all okay uh, the top portion does move okay tailstock is okay um, this front metal bar here is bent um, the foot brake is missing off the bottom. It does have a foot brake on it, okay? Um, the coolant pump operates, but it's a little, a little bit of vibration going on there. Okay, and uh, it's a little noisy because this panel right here, the, the shaft is hitting the, um, the side panel here, okay? Then you have a drip pan in the back which is not attached. It looks like it's uh, missing a some kind of bracket. Also your coolant hose right here. This is broken right here. As you can see we just pulled it out. That can easily be repaired. The hose is bent right here. It's got some paint scratches and dings. A little bit of gear oil leaking out of here. So th these components just may need to be adjusted or possibly repaired. Uh, this, this electrical panel right here, this is loose. And we thank you for looking at our product.